the next thing we're going to do, we're going to shift from the right side to the left side. From the right side to the left side. Right side and left side and right side and left. And when you go to the right, the left side comes up and the other side. And maybe put gently your hands on your, above your hip, on your ribs, and feel how it affects your ribs. It's kind of like an accordion. You don't see many accordions anymore. But like when this side gets squishy, this side opens up. And we're going to move from side to side in a rhythmical way, not hard, just kind of freeing. And as you do that, see what happens on your heels. So when I move to my right, my left heel digs in. When I move to the left, the right heel digs in for balance. So that's a very useful thing to know or to feel. So you can recruit it whenever you're reaching to get something. So now we're going to add the arm as you're shifting to the left, reach to get something and anchor your right foot down. And shifting to the right and anchor your left foot and reach 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 and relax. Take a deep breath in and let it go. We're going to make circles now. We're going to go with the hip around and around and around. Going around and around and around. And then change direction. And come back to the center. Bring your arms forward with your fingers hanging down and flip at the wrist and flip and flip and flip and flip and flip and flip. Up, let go. Up, let go. Up, let go. Up, let go. Now let go your shoulders. Oops. Good. Bend your elbows and let them go. Blop. Bend your elbows and let them go. Blop. And bend your elbows. So your shoulders are down. Your wrists are down. You're bending at the elbows and you're letting it go. You're bending at the elbows and you're letting it go. You're bending in the elbows and you're letting it go. And just hang there. Move your head back and forth. Lift your shoulders up and slowly relax them down. And lift your shoulders up and slowly let them go down and lift your shoulders up and let them go down and bring your arms down lift your shoulders up and drop and inhale deep lift your shoulders up Exhale and drop them. See if they are 180 degrees between shoulder and shoulder. And inhale up. And relax it. And inhale up. 
and relax it. The next time you're gonna roll them back. Inhale up, roll back. Inhale up, roll back. Inhale up, roll back. Inhale up and bring the arm back and now lift the arms behind you. Up and up and up and up and up. to see Shubi for a second and down and lift up and lower down and lift them again up and down and bring the arms again back and now we're going to try to bring the hands closer to one another ready and bring them closer separate Closer, separate, closer, separate, closer, and separate. Four more, three more, two more, and this is the last one, and let it go. Lift your shoulders up, and exhale it down. Inhale, shoulders up. Roll the shoulders back and let it slide down. Bring the arms again to the back. Bend the elbows only and lengthen. Bend the elbow and lengthen. Bend the elbow and lengthen. Bend the elbow and lengthen. And relax. Shoulders up. Roll and exhale. Shoulders up. Roll and exhale. Shoulders up. Roll and exhale. On the edge of the chair legs open, hip width apart, shoulder rolls in as hands rolls in, hold it there, and roll back, and roll in, and out. And roll in and out. And roll in and out. And now allow the pelvis to roll back as your shoulders come in and your hands come in and your head goes down. And roll out and look up and extend your back. And everything goes in and everything goes out. Roll your arms out, extend your chest, look up and exhale. Going in and inhale, going out and lift your arms from the side all the way up to the ceiling reach 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 and bring everything down through the center channel find your center and we're gonna go in We're gonna go out. 
We're going to lift the arms up towards the ceiling. And we're going to exhale through the center channel. And we're going to roll in. And we're going to rotate out. And we're going to extend. We're going to lift the arms up. Up, 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 reach. And we're going to come from the center. This channel. Visualize your spine is a tube where the energy goes through, the breath goes through, your spirit goes through, whatever you can put in there that's valuable to you. And rotate in and rotate out, lifting, anchoring the feet into the floor as the arm floats up. Your ribs are opening, you're reaching, reaching, reaching. You're taking all the goodness from the universe and you bring it through your body. And use visualization, use imagery, and anchor yourself into the chair and into the floor. And come in, rotate out. Find the flow, find the breath, and start lifting. Gathering everything, collecting it from the universe, bringing it inside you. Exhaling. And we'll do it one last time. Rotate the hip. The shoulders go in. Start the rotation out, anchor the feet into the floor, anchor the hip into the pelvis, and start floating up as your spine extends, finding it, collecting it, bringing it inside you, and relaxing it inside you. Put your hands on your thighs and just stay there for a minute. Think about rotating your eyes to one side, only the eyes, while they're still closed, and feel how your spine wants to start rotating and allow your spine to rotate in its own place one vertebra at a time through your neck. You have seven vertebras. And when you get down to the bottom of your neck, allow the shoulder on that side to move out of the way backwards and keep on rotating the vertebras that in between your shoulder blades down to your chest, down to your lower back. And when you get to the hip, maybe push the leg, that leg further back towards you, inside you, and allow that hip to move back and keep on rotating around your column. And coming back slowly, undo that rotation. Stay with your eyes shut if, you, if it's comfortable for you. And we're going to do the other side. Start only with your eyes to rotate to the side. Moving down seven vertebras in the neck. Take your time. Don't push. Don't force it. Let it rotate just as much as it wants to. When you get to the bottom of your neck, allow the, uh, that shoulder to move out of the way backwards and keep on rotating. Just 
around the colon. Don't use outer muscles. Stay in the center of your body. Keep on going in between your shoulder blades to the mid back, into your lower back. When you get to the hip, push that knee inward to move that pelvis backward and keep on rotating. and then undo it one vertebra at a time. Stay close to the center of your body, right around your vertebras. And when you get to the center, stay there for a minute, allow your body to adjust. Maybe open your eyes, come to the here and now, and we're gonna do it again to both sides. So shut your eyes if it's okay with you and start with your eyes to rotate or the way that they say it now, I invite you to close your eyes. So however it works for you, if it feels comfortable, have them shut so you can focus inwardly and start the rotation from your eyes down the neck, see if you can feel one vertebra at a time. And when you get to the bottom of your neck, allow the shoulder to move out of the way and keep on the rotation, softening the chest, moving one shoulder blade forward and the other scapula back. And get to your middle of your back. And when you get to your pelvis, get that thigh pushed backwards so the hip can move back and maybe increase the rotation, but only with ease. And when you feel like you want to come back, you come back one vertebra at a time, one part of the spiral at a time coming up. Try to stay very close to the center of your body and not use big muscles. When you do get to the front, take a breath to adjust, to recoup before you start the other side. And when you're ready to do the other side, use your eyes to start going down the neck. Get to the bottom of your neck, allow your shoulder to move out of the way, and keep on softening your chest, getting rotation in between your shoulder blades before you get to the middle of the back, before you get to the lower back. And when you finally get to the hip, push the thigh bone, the femur backwards. So the hip moves back and you can rotate even more. And then when you decide to come back, you undo the rotation in a spiral from the bottom, through the middle, to the toe. And when you get to the center, you just rest there for a minute. And when you're ready to open your eyes, go ahead and open your eyes. And now with your eyes open, turn back. 
and see how far and it will, if it's easy, and come back. Hello, Shubi. Hello, Shubi Lee. He had his 15th birthday on the 16th and he doesn't hear and he doesn't see. But he's happy. And we're going to try and do the other side with the eyes open, moving the thigh out of the way, moving the shoulder out of the way. Is your body organized and a little bit better? And once again, eyes, head, neck, shoulder, mid back, lower back, hip, and a little bit more. And coming back, hip, lower back, mid back, shoulder, neck, eyes. And the other side, eyes, through the neck, shoulder, between the shoulder blades, mid, lower back, and hip, and coming back. And we'll do it a little bit faster, looking back, and looking back, and looking back, and looking back. And find center. I always think about it driving, that we have the mirrors in the front and we have mirrors on the side and those are nice helpers. But being able to actually turn around and see what's going on is always the best bet if you're standing or you're starting to move. Uh, obviously not while you're driving, but um, being able to use the whole so system in an organized uh, matter is always the best thing to rely on. So with that, we're going to go back into what we did earlier. Coming in with the rotation in. Coming out with the rotation out. Extending the back. Lifting the arm, letting them float up. Collecting it in and finding center. And one last time, going in, going out with a breath, collecting it. Bringing it into the central channel. And I want to thank you for joining me. And I'll see you next week. Have a wonderful week.